that's in the person of actually our cousin. Bishop Richard D. Sanders, will you stand? I want to ask all of us to elevate our hand. Call his name, Pastor Sanders. Pastor Sanders. Preach the word. Preach the word. Let the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit have the right way. After we have shared in the age of him of amazing grace, the next voice will be that of the Reverend Dr. R.D. Sanders. Would you stand with us? <laughs>
This is the day that the Lord has made. About four o'clock this morning, I decided I would rejoice.
doing this introduction because y'all look at me and I'm looking at y'all right back. <laughs> I know some of y'all Googled me, I Googled y'all. <laughs> you Googled me to see if I could reach out, Googled y'all to see if y'all could have church. January 26, 2014, I had what they call a dissection of the aorta artery. For those of you who don't know what that means, uh, simply put, I'm not supposed to be here. Usually when you have that aneurysm, you die on the spot. Uh, you can read the book, but uh, I survived 10 days after I was misdiagnosed. Uh, I bled internally for 10 days until finally they helicoptered me to USC and they did not expect for me to survive because only one out of a thousand makes it to the hospital in time. And if you make it in time, only one out of a thousand get off the table. Well, Go, and that's the last silent child I'm going in. And I'm reading from King James Version because there are some words and terms that come out of that translation that will somehow transform us. Amen. When he was come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, there came a leper, quiet and worships. Worshiped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt. Thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand, touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. Watch it here. And immediately his leprosy was clean. I want to talk about worshiping while on death row. Again, thank you, choir, for being you. Who have had to worship 
this guy had enough sense to understand. Nobody expects for me to make it anyhow. I have nothing to lose. And I believe that our churches would be better. I believe the kingdom would be stronger. I believe our testimony would be stronger if we could get for to look beyond their condition. And look to the Christ. And just come on. presence simply says if I can get to where I think he's going to be because in, in, in my further studies I found out that, that, that this guy had just heard about some of the good stuff that Jesus was doing he hadn't seen it with his own eyes but he knew he was on death row and he heard about a man. That's why some of y'all is here today. Yeah. Only reason why you did you heard yeah. about a man. Yeah. And, 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 and he came on. Anyhow, he missed me with these Christians that can't come to Jesus unless their life is perfect. Yeah. See, 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 that's why I was about to go all the way in when the when the choir, y'all excuse me, when the choir started talking about the reality of their worship, my, my question is, can you come when you die? Yes. Now, uh, Here's the other thing. You gotta understand, folk were not supposed to fool with you. When you had lepers. And, and they, they weren't mean. They didn't, they didn't mean no harm. And, 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 and if you have certain serious situations and folks start scattering, don't get angry right off. Now, some of them are mean and don't mean you no good. But some folks scatter because, number one, they really don't know what to do with you. And if they knew what to do with you, they couldn't do what they know to do. I wish I had help with you in this room. But, but this, this guy here, here's the situation. You got a bunch of folks that won't help him, can't help him, and, and here's another thing, and did not expect for him to ever get well. Now he brought all of that. And so as I leave that point to rush on to the next one, just let me say it like this. Listen, I don't care what the prognosis is. I don't care if you are dying. When you get into the presence of the Lord, just go ahead and say something. Go ahead and talk to him. Anyhow, you may not feel like it, but talk to him. Anyhow, no matter what the world has to say. Listen, they don't want to talk to you no how. You ever been where that's all you got is Jesus. That's all. Oh, I got. Oh, okay, y'all got what? I got it's over here now. I feel it all over here now. Then just grab somebody's hand and say, he's all I got. <laughs> Open your mouth and say it. Open your mouth and say it. When you worship, go ahead and say it. Secondly, worship will increase your conviction regarding your healing. Your, your conviction. This is what the man said to Jesus. If you want to, you can heal me. So Miss Jackson, you don't get to that without worship. Now, 
worshipers who were not. They approached Jesus with a to-do list.
compassion, I'm not going to get real graphic, but it has to do with your inside parts that move. That's really what that alludes to. And, and it talks, and, and what it's alluding to is how deeply Jesus feels for those who are in trouble. Did, did, did y'all hear what I said? Listen, listen, listen. Christ's power is pushed by his pity. And I'm not going to say it, but when he delivers you, when he delivers me, really, it ain't about him showing off how strong he is. His power is pushed by his pity. Yes, Listen, he fetches mercy on my behalf. Yes, the yes, reason why Jesus said, I'm going to do it, he's not trying to show the man nothing, but he's trying to let us know. I feel you. Listen, y'all hear me? Listen, when you really worship, let me say this. And I'm moving on. Your your affliction. You, this, no, 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 no. You, you can't get word and work to partner up on your behalf when you only shout in the sunshine. Ooh. But if you can watch it while you lose it, it hits Jesus in his soft spot. says, uh, I'll do it. Then he says, be clean. Now I'm drawing to a close. I ain't one of them lying preachers. Say I'm closing and it'll be three o'clock tomorrow. He's on his 17th close. Now, I, I'm drawing. Yes, 
Because the immediacy in the Lord's response answered the man's proposition. The man said, if you want to. When Jesus did it immediately, it, it, that means I want to. And that's, and that's what I want to close on today in case there's somebody who's wondering whether or not Jesus wants to heal you. Whether or not he wants to make you whole. Whether or not he wants to deliver you off this road. I come by here a long way from home. I come by here to tell you, yes, he wants to. Can, can you just grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, he wants to heal you. Grab another neighbor and say, neighbor, he wants you to be clean. The immediacy of his response lets me know just how much he hates disease being in the life and existence yes sir of his people what no trial program but immediately and I don't know oh shucks here I don't know how y'all feel but I know it is that it's good to know that he does not deliver just because he can. But he really wants me to be made whole. Do I hear me? The Lord wants to heal you, but he wants your worship. Do I hear
and I'll give you my healing. Give me your deliverance. I'll give you my deliverance. Give me your problem, and I'll give you my solution.